he brought it into the pickup model and I adopted this and give credit to him. I give credit to him in, in countless videos. Okay, even even on my group mentorship calls, I'm constantly referencing points that he made. I think that, that he was very advanced for his time. Uh, him and I used to chat a bunch a few years ago over Facebook Messenger and he told me he was in the low 300 lay count. That was around uh, 2016, 2017. Whereas I hit 300 in, in May 2014. Not sure what he's at right around now, but he's about 50 years old. And it was still my dream collaboration to get him on the channel. What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about my utmost respect for mystery. Okay, Eric von Markovic. He's mentioned in the book The Game, the famous bestseller by Neil Strauss. He also went on to write a incredibly strategic and systematic manual for pickup called The Mystery Method, How to Get Beautiful Women into Bed. And he had other follow-up uh, books and manuals as well. He's my favorite guy in the space by far. Okay, He's the guy I respect the most in the space by far. I've made videos critiquing areas of his system that I feel were suboptimal or, or potentially incorrect. But I think he made the best attempt at a full comprehensive pickup system Okay, I took the best parts of it, massively evolved and optimized it and added in a whole bunch of extra stuff. Uh, so I want to go through today uh, why I respect him so much and give a little background there and also highlight a bunch of key videos I've made on my channel uh, about mystery. And we'll have info cards so you guys can click to any one of those videos as, they, as they're referenced in the, in the actual video here. So before we continue, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press notification bell, new videos every day. Okay, shooting for two new videos a day, but at least one new video a day every single day um, and also if you want to master the game and get extremely good do not hesitate jump on a free 30 minute call the link in the description for that to walk you through how we can get you very good very fast okay so with mystery method i listened to that audiobook countless times i used to listen to it on the way to work when i had a tech job on the way back from work i would listen to it during work while i was working and i must i don't know how many times i, I probably like 30 times i listened to the audiobook really internalized a lot of it and I was able to go out and execute most of the important advanced concepts from that book right out of the gate. Okay, so I made a video um, called My First Night Out Doing Mystery Method, Full Field Report Breakdown. We'll put the thumbnail up for that, in the, in the, or the info card up for that, and the thumbnail here at the bottom. I highly suggest reading that. It's my first field report ever. I wrote that in, um, it's based on a night from February 2009, okay, about 12 years ago. So... 12 and a half years. So um, I broke my first 100 girls just utilizing Mystery Method. I hit my first 100 girls in June 2012. And first of all, the, the core of his model is, is this compliance model. Okay, the whole idea is that there's something called the compliance test, which can be when you open, basically should the girl can comply or not comply. So when you open, it's a compliance test. When you try to isolate, okay, when you try to escalate physically, when you try to pull and take her home, when you ask for her number, okay, when you are trying to lead her around in the club, even just her paying attention to you and, and interacting, that's a compliance test, okay? And uh, texting her is a compliance test, asking her out on a date, um, you know, asking her to come home with you from a date, asking her to come into your place when you get to the door of, of your apartment. <clears throat> These are all compliance tests all the way up to leading to the sex, okay? And the girl can comply or not comply at every step of the way. And he advocates giving them indicators of disinterest, otherwise known as uh, IODs. If she does not comply, which is basically like a form of punishment in, in effect, or you can reward her with indicators of interest if she does comply. Okay, so he took this from operant conditioning and, and psychology. People like B.F. Skinner pioneered this. He brought it into the pickup model, and I adopted this and give credit to him. I give credit to him in, in countless videos. Okay, even, even on my group mentorship calls, I'm constantly referencing points that he made. I think that, that he was very advanced for his time. Uh, him and I used to chat a bunch a few years ago over Facebook Messenger, and he told me he was in the low 300 lay count. That was around uh, 2016, 2017. Whereas I hit 300 in, in May 2014. Not sure what he's at right around now, but he's about 50 years old. And it was still my dream collaboration to get him on the channel. But, you know, he's there's a lot of ego that comes with being very good at pickup. And yeah, I remember he told me at that time, when you Google pickup artist or ask Siri, show me pickup artist, it shows him and not me. Okay. But I do think us, uh, you know, 
uh, joining our experience and data and, and skills and knowledge about the game, I think we could break some serious new ground, okay? But that compliance model, that's the core of the whole method, okay? So I, I coupled that kind of like with Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion system, and it, it's moving things from open to close along a straight line path, okay? And when you hit non-compliance or an objection, you deal with it ac accordingly, okay? So I've identified uh, 14 objections that come up in cold approach when you try to take the girl home, and I've identified the optimal responses to each one. I tell you guys what to do if, if she's not receptive on the opener, not receptive when you try to take the phone number, not receptive when you try to kiss or, or go for the escalation, okay, not receptive when you try to take her home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so therefore, game is simply just about knowing how to properly move it forward through a proper structure and then how to deal with every point of noncompliance so that when it diverges off that straight line, you deal with the objection or noncompliance and you move it forward again. Or if it's a hard objection, a hard logistical thing to beat, uh, I show you how to identify that as well and basically cut bait. If, the, if it's either a, a non-starter where it's, it's not going to be possible to beat that objection or if it's going to be a very low probability such that the expected utility is low. Okay, And again, this is a skill game. You'd make the same kind of judgments in poker and in chess. It's a game of incomplete information and that's why it's so much fun and there's a lot of variables. But you're, you're taking your best assessment at the time and then you make the highest probability move accordingly. So my system is simply making a string of high probability moves so that you optimize your chances all the way through, okay? He also had another <clears throat> interesting thing called cat string theory, okay? And I will put up the info card to that in the thumbnail, which is the idea that if you were to dangle a string in front of a cat, it's gonna jump up and do tricks and do all kinds of things to try to get the string, but if you give it the whole ball of yarn, it ironically doesn't want it. Okay, so his whole idea there is that you don't want to become too available to the girl. You don't want to just put everything out on display like, yes, I'm yours no matter what and this and that and kind of overdo it and be gushing and, the, and these things um, because then she's going to get bored and move on to the next thing. Okay, so you want to leave a little bit of mystery there, pun intended, and, and mix in your, your hot and cold and reward and punishment, not doing stupid push-pull nonsense, but just not being too overly available and too over needy, okay? Um, other videos I did on mystery, uh, I did, does mystery method still work in 2019? We'll put up the info card for that. I went over the top five pros, and then I went over the top five cons in a separate video. Everything wrong with mystery method, top five cons. And again, this is just an objective, critical approach. I still respect him the most in the game by far, um, and, and think he did wonders for the game. RST buried a lot of his important principles and concepts in set pickup back uh, decades, you know, RSD was a fucking full-on nightmare. Um, I, I, I thought to make this video today after we did the origin of RSD video. We'll put up the info card for that as well, uh, which was done yesterday, and where we basically talk about uh, how they ripped off like their company name as a playoff mysteries company name, Social Dynamics, making it real Social Dynamics, and also stole his three-day bootcamp model and other various things, and proceeded to steal a whole lot of other shit from people throughout the years. Um, I made a video about why mystery is wrong with te about text messaging. We'll put the, thumb, the info card up for that. Uh, was mystery wrong about group theory? Put the thumbnail up about that. Are DHVs still relevant in 2019? Plus examples, demonstrations of higher value. We'll put the thumbnail for that. My first night out, okay, we already talked about that. My first night out doing mystery method with a full infield report breakdown, but we'll put that again. Uh, I made a video called why compliance is the most important part of game. We'll link that. Um, and then just about, you know, he had an important message about manning the fuck up where he, where he notoriously goes up to the camera and says, man, the fuck up, son. Okay. And I'll, I'll put the info card up to that. I just wanted to kind of summarize, you know, and, and have like a nice little place here, a video where it points to all the mystery videos. And again, some of these are critiques, but I think, I guess the biggest issue I have with him is that he kind of built a system and then froze it in time and, and failed to adapt and evolve a lot of the things. I feel like, like for instance, his seven hour rule that you need four to 10 hours of comfort before you can close the deal so that the girl doesn't get buyer's remorse and regret prematurely hooking up with a stranger and then, and then not want to see you again. That was a good attempt to explain that and that is a very real phenomenon. However, it's more of a qualitative amount of comfort that is needed and there's little tricks you can do to import comfort on credit, so to speak and very anti one night stand frame and also future pace and frame the fact that you guys are going to hang out a lot more in the future 
and which is integral to, and, and critical to my rotation and retention strategy, I'm able to close um, most girls 80 90% on the first date. Okay, that, I'm not talking about I'm getting 80 90% out on dates. I'm talking about if I do go on a date with them, I close 80 90%. And... Um, I retain almost all the girls that I want to. Okay, that's why I run such big rotations. I just did a, a tally the other day. There's the three girls living in the house, and there's 14 side girls at the time of this recording. Okay, at 1,381 lay count, 19 more till 1.4k. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to cover here. I don't want to just go on and on and on. And I, there's too much of his material to talk at length. Um, but I, I would highly recommend reading that first field report. We'll put the info card one more time. That walks through a whole bunch of the outline and, and principles of his game. I do think that style of game is, is outdated at this point, so don't you know take make a whole lot of technical game takeaways from that field report if you do read it. But you'll see kind of the how methodical and systematic I was with implementing these things, and how I was able to to track the results and where I was running into blocks and problems, so I was able to make a game plan to iteratively optimize and, and upgrade how well I was implementing the system. Okay, and I'll link to that at the end as well in the end screen. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want the full optimized system that was responsible for exponential growth, we'll pop up the Lacon graph. And I took the mystery stuff and really evolved and optimized it to the point uh, in my best year of closing 246 new girls in a year. If you'd like to plug into that system and start executing like a beast right out of the gate and start closing one to two new girls a week, which is very typical for a lot of the guys to come through the program, excuse me, for a lot of guys to come to the program, jump on that free 30-minute call. We'll go over how we can get you very good very fast, okay? Also, subscribe if you have not already, and like, comment, and share to help the algorithm. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you during the week for a lot of great videos. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out a cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.